Carabo Fabregas and students call me Ms. Fab. I'm the pharmacy tech lead instructor here at the Miami campus. And how did I end up in the pharmaceutical field when my passion was education? After graduating from education and getting my bachelor's degree, I wasn't able to pay the bills and I needed to come up with money quickly. So I decided to go into pharmacy technician. So before I was working with a veterinarian at the front desk and there I saw that the animals were getting medications and that, you know, interested me. And at the same time, having a bachelor's degree in education, I wasn't able to pay the bills with what I was making at the veterinarian's office. So I went into pharmacy technician and I gained my pharmacy technician diploma and I enjoyed it. After going to the hospital and also doing retail, I saw that this is something I can do and it's gonna help pay my bills. A day in the class with me, it's a lot of hands-on and relating every activity what to expect in the practical world of being a pharmacy technician. You're gonna learn everything from what it takes to be a pharmacy technician to what it takes to excel as a pharmacy technician and grow in your career. It's very important to always have a plan A and plan B. Um, I'm doing what I'm passionate about right now, which is teaching and training pharmacy technicians and passing along that experience to them so they can grow in their careers. A lot of hands-on activity is what you're gonna expect in my classroom. I'm going to uh, break things down for you so you can understand and how this can help you in real life. Always have a plan A and plan B, and hopefully your plan A is what you're passionate about. And if it's not, then plan B will always help you excel in your future.